All right, let's continue our review of exponential and logarithmic functions. In this video, we will focus on solving exponential equations, and uh, we may need some logarithms to get that done. All right, for number 10, we're trying to get x by itself here. So the first thing we need to do is subtract 9 from both sides. So that's going to give us e to the 8 x plus 6 power is equal to 4. Now to get at the exponent we need to rewrite this in log form. Now if you were careless you might write log base e and then just switch these like we always do and put the 4 over here and put the 8x plus 6 over here but we would never write log base e of 4 like this. Um, log base e is the natural log. So we write ln 4, natural log of 4, is equal to 8x plus 6. And then we'll go ahead and solve this for x uh, by subtracting 6 from both sides. All right, please don't go 4 minus 6. We'll just have to leave this separate. So we have natural log. 4 minus 6 is equal to 8x. And then we will divide both sides by 8 to get x by itself. All right, just make one big fraction. OK, that cancels out the 8 here. So that leaves us with x equals. And we just need to evaluate this. So natural log 4 minus 6 over 8. All right, so fraction mode, so natural log of 4, close your parentheses, please, minus 6, then all that is over 8. All right, just double check, natural log 4 minus 6 over 8. Okay, kabam. So that gives us negative 0.58. Got to round up. Okay, so that would be the answer to um, number 10. Nearest hundredth, okay, so we had to do the two decimal places. Okay, and number 11. All right, this one we already have the base and the power by itself. So um, there's two ways you could do this. We could rewrite this in log form right now. Or um, because I recognize that 216 is 6 to the third power, um, I could go like this and go 6 to the 3x minus 7 power is equal to 6 to the third power. And then I could use logic and go 3x minus 7 is equal to 3. And then I would add 7 to both sides. Okay, and then we'd get 3x is, that's horrible, 7. Um, that's 3x is equal to 10. x is equal to 10 over 3. Okay, and as a decimal, if I really wanted to, 10 divided by 3 is 3.33. Okay, um, so that's one way to do it. Now, um, let's go back and see how we would do it using logarithms now. Um, so if I rewrote this in log form, then I would have um, log base 6 and then uh, these two would change sides so I'd have log base 6 of 216 is equal to 3x minus 7 okay um, this you know again I know that 6 to the third power is 216 so this is going to be 3 alright if you didn't remember that or something and you had a calculator you could go log 216 over log 6. Okay, either way you're going to get 3. Um, so I have 3 is equal to 3x minus 7. And uh, so this is the same thing we got earlier. So um, if we add 7 to both sides, okay, there's your 10 is equal to 3x and then dividing both sides by 3 
All right, we're getting x is equal to 10 over 3. So either way, you're going to get the same answer. OK, and finally, number 12. Um, now, remember this, people. Let's say if I had n to the third power times n to the fifth power. What would this be? Well, this would be n to the eighth power. OK, we've learned that if we have like bases, we add the exponents. All right, so say if I had 7 to the x power times uh, 7 to the 5th power. How would I combine these? Well, that would be 7 to the x plus 5 power, right? Um, we Again, we're adding the exponent. It's just like 3 plus 5 is 8. x plus 5 is x plus 5, right? We keep the 7. Notice that the 7 doesn't become 49 or anything like that. So um, I'm mentioning that now because that's what we're dealing with. All right? We have the same base, and we have these powers. Um, so what we are going to do is we're going to keep that base of 8, but we're adding these. Okay, We're doing 4x minus 3, Okay, and we're doing plus x plus 1. Okay, we're adding the exponents. Um, and really, that just means we're combining like terms. So 4x plus x is 5x. Negative 3 and positive 1 is negative 2. Okay, now I could rewrite this in log form by going log base 8. All right, now the rest of it, okay, these two things are going to change sides. So the 3 is going to come over here, and the 5x minus 2 is going to go over there. Log base 3, I mean log base 8 of 3, um, we'll have to do the change of base formula. So this is going to, in the calculator, become log of 3 over log of 8. OK, so log of 3 over log of 8. All right, so that's this number. OK, but what's coming next? Um, <clears throat> in fact, let's just not even write that down yet. So let me go back a step, erase. I'm just going to leave this like it is for now. Um, I'm going to add 2 to both sides next. OK, add 2. Please don't make this into a 5. You can't do that. Um, so it's just going to be log base 8 of 3, and then just put the plus 2 on the end. OK, and then we will divide by 5 on both sides. OK, just divide the whole thing by 5. So this will give us the answer. OK, um, so all we have to do is evaluate this expression. So we have log base 8 of 3. Again, in the calculator, we do this as log 3 over log 8. Um, but then we have to add 2 to that. And then we're going to divide by 5. So I think the easiest thing to do is um, you could just do this, get the decimal. And then we could just add 2, hit Enter, and then just divide by 5. Okay, so the answer is going to be 0 0.51. Got to round up. All right, nearest hundredth, two decimal places. So that's your answer. Now, understand that we could type all this into the calculator at, at once instead of doing this, and then this, and then this. Um, most students like to do it in three separate steps. All right, find the the log base 8 of 3 using the change of base, then add 2, then divide by 5. But let me show you, um, just in case you wanted to type it all in at once, let me go back um, to here. So I've got this. Um, OK, so what I can do is I could just type it all in 
at once by doing, uh, we're doing plus 2, am I right? Yeah, and then that whole thing is supposed to be divided by 5. So you really, you can just type it in all at once like this. Okay, either way you're going to get the same answer. And again, the way you would start that out is you could go into fraction mode and then notice in the bottom of the fraction is your 5. So I would usually put that in first just to make it really clear that's the denominator. Now in the numerator, that's where you have all this blue stuff, okay, including log base 8 of 3, which we put log 3 over log 8. So what you would have to do is make another fraction up here and go log 3 over log 8. Okay, and then of course you've got your, uh, your plus 2 is up there as well. So you go plus 2. So that's how you would build that expression and get that answer. All right, uh, I think that's the end of this video. All right, we're just going to do those three problems. So that is how you solve exponential equations using logarithms. Hope it was helpful to you. Okay, that's going to be the end of this video, um, but there are more videos coming with the rest of the review. So we'll see you on the next video.